Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to my ultimate recoil as well as distance guide. So I'm going to be showing you guys the recoil and telling you guys at which point your guns will deviate from their intentional uh, target. And in addition to that, I will also tell you guys uh, distances at which you should engage your enemy. So first off, we're going to be covering D.Va. We will cover all the heroes in this video. Uh, I do have more advanced guides and and other in-depth stat guides for other heroes. I'll link them down below in the description box if you guys want to check that out. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So first off, D.Va outside of the mech will be 100% accurate. Every single shot will go exactly where you point your uh, gun to, and it doesn't matter the distance again. But this is outside of the mech form. Inside of her mech form, the ideal range for you to engage uh, with D.Va is anywhere between 10 to 15 meters. Uh, anything after that, it's just going to be more advantageous for you to you know, get closer to your enemy uh, and deal damage. Some of these uh, will be accurate, like you'll see that uh, there is a larger circle around the dot. Uh, I did this so I can show you guys some of the accuracy tests. Um, certain things will follow this where they will only stay within that circle. The, we're talking about the larger circle, obviously. Uh, but certain things break this rule. Generally, they do stay in the circle, but you will see uh, once we get to some of the other heroes that they go outside of this and they don't follow the traditional like rule of the uh, general region of where they uh, should follow. But uh, anyways, yeah, like I said, uh, the distances at which you want to engage with D.Va are anywhere from 10 to 15 meters. So about 15 would be a little bit after this, or you can go about right here. And uh, that'll give you a reference for the ideal range at which you want to engage. Because once you get to like the 20, 25, any, anywhere after that, you're just looking at uh, doing very minimal damage uh, with D.Va. Uh, next up, we are going to go over from the left to the right. I just wanted to start off with D.Va because uh, I had to get her outside of the mech, and it takes a little bit to get her outside of the mech on this map. Uh, as far as Genji goes, Genji is 100% accurate as well, although his uh, shots are a little different uh, because he has an alt fire that uh, will vary on range. So you want to get as close as you can and uh, you want to go ahead and alt fire when you're doing this. Uh, you'll see it, it'll be much more accurate. Well, essentially because there's no way for the uh, shurikens to spread. The further you are away, you'll see that the spread is much larger. Uh, but it'll always go to the exact same place no matter how many times you shoot it. Uh, again, uh, it will be 100% accurate. It doesn't matter the distance, Genji will be 100% accurate. You can, however, drag, and that can change your distances, but it's always going to shoot three out. And again, it's going to be 100% accurate regardless of the distance with Genji. Um, as far as other heroes in the game, we'll go over to McCree next. So his left click is 100% accurate, which means, you know, at any distance, uh, it will always go to its intended target, which is the smaller green dot. Uh, this can be used in any distance, uh, but generally Fan the Hammer is effective up to 10 meters. Anything after that, you're going to have a lot of shots that deviate from the original target, which you, you guys will see. So if I go ahead and right click, you'll see I didn't control that, um, but I was able to kill him fairly easy. If we go over to the wall over here, you'll generally see that it goes up. Uh, there's no difference as far as if it goes more often to the left or to the right. It generally just al it will always go up. So just keep that in mind. When you're actually trying to control the recoil, it's easy just to kind of go down a little bit with uh, McCree. But again, his left click will be always accurate. So you guys can use this for distance guides. Uh, this will just be 10 meters. So again, the ideal range is anywhere from 10 to under if you're going to be using Fan the Hammer. And uh, as far as the flashman goes, that's 5 meters. I actually already have it in depth guide for his stats so again I'll link that down below. As far as Farrah goes she's pretty straightforward she's 100% accurate it just takes time for you to uh, have your things go to the intended target and it's the same for her uh, ability called the uh, concussive blast uh, so that's going to be 100% accurate again it just takes some time to get there. Uh, as far as Reaper goes uh, the actually yeah uh, Reaper goes uh, his ideal range is anywhere between, uh, I would say 10. 10 is the ideal range that you want to be hitting targets at uh, because pretty much it'll put all of your shots on target. The closer you are, obviously, the, the more viable it is. Uh, this distance right here is 20 meters uh, until these uh, training bots. So at 20 meters, you can see it's only usable if they're very low. 15 is still really mediocre, but uh, anywhere from 10 and uh, closer, that's the ideal range for Reaper. And next up we have Soldier, so let's go ahead and go over Soldier. So Soldier, uh, we can actually do recoil with him because he's a little bit different. Um, 
or I guess more uh, traditional to an FPS because uh, his shots will deviate from the target. The first four to five shots will be 100% accurate. The reason why I say four to five is because the fifth shot is so damn close that I want to say it's accurate enough. So you'll see uh, over here that we can use these training bots, for example, that it's going to take one, two, three, four, five, six shots to actually kill. So if I was to shoot this uh, training bot once in the head, and we'll go to five, uh, let's get to five. So I'll go as far back as I possibly can, and we'll get to five shots, and then I'll show you guys that it's it's nearly uh, accurate. <laughs> Once we get down to that, we gotta get to five though, it's gotta be perfect. I'm getting some latency here. Okay, so the first five shots are nearly 100% accurate. Again, it's that small amount that's going to deviate, and it's such a small amount that I would say you can safely uh, assume that the fifth shot will hit, but again, the first four shots, you guys will see they won't deviate from its uh, original target at all. So I'll go ahead and show you guys one more time. These will all be perfect headshots. Okay, so let's use this. Let's use the uh, bot further down here. We'll use this one as an example. These will all be perfect headshots. So you'll see it won't deviate from the target at all. So yeah, you guys can use that for reference. So the ideal thing to do with him is to not necessarily just hold down the trigger, but to actually burst. And the ideal range for soldier is actually everything. Uh, again, that's just if you would go ahead and burst. Another thing with soldier though, uh, just as far as recoil and uh, how you want to engage with him, let's get his ult real quick. Uh, some people didn't know about this, so I figured I'd go ahead and mention it. When you activate his ult, that blue circle is where you are actually going to be able to hit them. So if you shoot right now, you're not going to hit them. They have to be inside the blue circle, uh, the inner one. So uh, you guys can see that, obviously, on the screen. Some people didn't know about that. Most people just end up spamming anyways, but I figured it was important to mention that the first four shots, pretty much four to five, uh, four guaranteed. Fifth is pretty reasonable to say that it will hit the target. But again, it's such a small deviation, I felt like, yeah. Uh, it was it was good to mention. As far as tracer goes, again, I can do these wall tests, but pretty much you guys can start set it to dot, and you guys can see the the uh, shots. Again, some of them are different, which I will go over. But the ideal range for uh, tracer is actually just ten meters, so you want to get fairly close uh, to your enemy. So uh, this is again a good example. So you'll see all the shots will be really accurate uh, on a target that has two hundred HP. You need 33 shots to kill them, so uh, this is the ideal range, again, uh, just 10 meters. Anything after that, you generally just, again, want to get closer, so that's going to help you guys out. As far as Bastion goes, the first three shots in his uh, magazine will 100% headshot, and then after that, they will deviate. And again, it depends on the range, you guys can see the accuracy. Uh, again, if you want to do wall tests, you guys can do that. But I'm here just to give you guys the information that you guys probably want, because this is what I would want, and this is all the homework that I did. Um, as far as his alternate fire, it's great at any range, but as far as his left click, uh, I would say it's ideal at any range. Again, you can go ahead and burst three shots at a time, and you'll be very, very on point. And the reason why it's important to be accurate, reloading is a big part of Overwatch. Uh, you'll notice a lot of people will lose fights while they're reloading, and generally, they give you enough to kill someone without reloading, for the most part. Uh, but uh, yeah, the first three shots will be accurate with Bastion. Now, Hanzo he uses a bow, and uh, Hanzo has an arc with his uh, bow, so that means if I was to shoot, let's say, this target over here, and I aimed perfectly at its head right here, you'll see if I charge it up, it won't actually hit his head. Yes, we killed him, but yeah, again, it didn't hit his head. At 15 meters, which is where this training bot is right now, to where I'm standing, this is 15 meters. This is where his bow will still be at 100% accuracy, and it'll still get the headshot or the intended target. We're going to use this orange thing right here as a reference, so we'll stand here, which is 15 meters, and you'll see it's still 100% accurate. Uh, up until then, uh, you gotta pull the bolt, bow all the way back too. If you don't, it's just gonna uh, not go as far. So if you pull it all the way back, you'll see we'll, we'll keep on hitting that orange one. Let's use this one as a reference because that one's already been hit. So it's gonna uh, move constantly. But you guys will see that it is accurate up to 15 meters. Uh, anything after that, it will deviate and you're gonna have to kind of lead your shot, so to speak, or uh, aim upwards a little bit just so you can uh, get your target on point. Uh, just a little bit more. Uh, see, that was too high over there. But you'll see that you'll have to, uh, again, lead your shot, essentially, with Hanzo. Uh, next up, we have Junkrat. Uh, as far as Junkrat goes, uh, his his arc will be relatively accurate. Uh, 
15 meters is, again, the same. You'll you notice a lot of these uh, characters will have like the same uh, numbers. So 15 will let you hit your target fairly accurate. Anything after that, once you get into the 20s, if I put mine uh, on point, let's wait for these ones to go. I guess we can just go over here. But um, if you start doing this, it won't actually hit the target. It'll usually bounce, and you don't want that to happen. Obviously, yeah, you're going to have to aim upwards a little bit, but about up to 15 meters is the ideal spot where you're going to actually hit them. Uh, as far as May goes, May is accurate pretty much at all ranges with her right click. Her left click... Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, the distances in which you can engage with me with her left click, which um, the recoil is really difficult to test for this, but you guys will be able to see. So here we have, uh, actually, let's use, let's use the shorter distances over here. So you'll see, uh, this will be five meters. You can hit them at five, you go to 10, and you can still hit them at 15. Uh, you'll notice it will not hit. So this is, is t it's about 12, I would say. It's, it's definitely a lot larger than 10. It's anywhere, I would say, from 11 to 12. Uh, things can deviate in this game depending on the angle in which you hit. So I would say 10 is the accurate uh, area which you should engage with her left click. Uh, but as far as her right click goes, the... What does it call it in the game? The... Oh, it's just the long range. It's not actually called anything as specific. So you can see if I put it on the uh, head, it'll still be 100% accurate. And again, this will be at nearly all ranges which we will engage in um but it it has been nerfed uh before it, it was changed as far as damage goes but th there's going to be patches in the game in the future but for the most part you can engage at many distances with uh may with her um red click as far as torbjorn goes again it's that same uh number 15 meters uh, is where you want to actually uh be able to aim for the head so this is 15 meters and it'll be fairly accurate uh, you'll see that we're going to be getting those headshots. As far as his right click, uh, you want to be anywhere... I would, well, okay, it can do 300 points of damage, so ideally you'd want to go straight for the head. Um, he's a little shorter, so <laughs> that can be a little bit difficult. But I would say about 10 meters is the ideal area where you want to actually use his right click. Um, you could technically go up to 15. Uh, let's wait for these to respond. So 15... At 15 meters, you might as well left click, it'll give you more value. Um, unless you get really lucky and you're getting like multiple headshots. For the most part, uh, 10 meters is where you want to right click. Anything after that, I would just recommend left clicking or uh, primary secondary fire for that. Uh, so now, next up, uh, we, already did, uh, we already did D.Va. As far as Widowmaker goes, she's on point at nearly all ranges. But uh, you can see the deviation. I can show you. Just I can just fire at the wall. She's fairly accurate at most ranges. Um, I would say. I mean, you're really only going to use her left click when you get fairly close. But even after like 15 meters, she's still very deadly with this. If the target is low enough, for the most part, you're going to lose engagements when they're close by. But uh, her uh, scoped in is going to be 100% accurate. That's obviously given it's a sniper. <laughs> um, next first one uh, is Diva, which we already went over. Um, but again, she's 100% accurate outside of the mech, and inside of the mech you want to be at 10 or under. Reinhardt, he doesn't have a gun, uh, but he does still have a ability, which is the Fire Strike. Uh, that's 100% accurate all ranges. It's relatively slow, and most people are able to dodge it, but it's 100% uh, accurate. N next up, we have Roadhog. Now, Roadhog's a little bit different. Roadhog will actually have his... Um, uh, left click, uh, deviate from the intentional uh, like green circle that you see, you'll see that even if we're close up, it still goes outside of the uh, range. So uh, basically you want to be using his left click at anywhere from 9 meters or under. Uh, the reason why, even though his right click is 8 meters, then it blows up and it hits someone, the reason why is because certain characters have different hitboxes, and if their character goes out 1 meter, like you can see this character over here, his uh, arms stick out, and so therefore this, uh, his right click, it will only deal 50 points of damage if it hits them. So what happens when you right click with Roadhog is it shoots out a, a ball, then it explodes after 8 meters. That's why I'm saying 9 meters is the ideal uh, spot. So anything after 9, so pretty much 10 meters uh, and uh, more, you want to right click. Otherwise, uh, yeah, you're just not going to be dealing that much uh, damage. Okay, I think that one was weak. Let's go ahead and do it again. And again, sometimes things are going to change depending on, you know, the, the size of the enemy. But for the most part, if I left click, you'll see how much damage it does. Where if I right click, that's uh, 100 to 0. So 
huge difference there. So basically 10 meters or more, right click. If you anything under that, you want to left click because uh, again, it'll only deal 50 damage, which is going to take four shots to actually get this uh, kill. So there's two, there's three, and there's four. So those are the stats for uh, Roadhog as far as, or the distances and like, as far as recoil goes, again, I'm not going to bother shooting walls because I, I know that's part of recoil, but I want to give you guys, again, the stats that you guys are going to be wanting. So as far as Winston goes, um, his ideal range is five and under. Um, again, some things are sticking out. That's why you'll see, even though I'm at like, I'd say anywhere seven, eight, you're, you're still seeing me hit. Again, it's because certain heroes and things will stick out if it's like uh another hero that doesn't have their arms sticking out for example or if they're in a position where they are behind like your uh their back is faced towards you uh you're gonna uh not be able to hit them so uh, the ideal range is basically five and under with winston again it's just because these arms stick out um i wanted to mention something with winston's uh lightning the lightning does not match the hitbox uh, i'll show you guys uh, in just a moment but, hey, let's go to this one because that's more hp you can actually hit the target. You can see it. I got pretty damn close. Okay, you, you saw it right there. His lightning does not match uh, the, his hitbox. So you can actually put the, the lightning can hit the target. Yeah, it's actually easier on this side. You'll see sometimes that the lightning will actually touch him right, like right there, but you won't get any hit markers. And that's because uh, of the way uh, he is designed. You basically, it's, it's a cone, but uh, you'll see that Again, sometimes the lightning will hit, but it won't do any uh, damage because they're just not inside the cone. So that's just something to keep in mind uh, as Winston. As far as um, Zarya, uh, up to 15 meters is where it'll be accurate. Like, uh, well, this is, uh, we'll just use this as a reference. So this is 10 meters. Uh, about 15 meters would be here. Uh, you can be fairly accurate. I'd say up to 15 if you're just trying to put your target, uh, your cursor on the target. But anything after that, you're going to have to aim a little bit higher. As far as her left click, uh, we can go and see, to see 10 meters is about the uh, range for her. Let's go ahead and go up to 15 over here. Uh, this will be 15 over here. You'll see that 15 is uh, another uh, distance where it can hit. But the ideal range is closer because once you shoot your laser, they're instantly going to move. So the ideal range, again, is going to be 10 and under, but you can technically hit them up to 15 or 16 again depending on some of the character models you have to factor that in yourself her ultimate is the same as her right click as far as uh, where it's going to go so uh, there's no recoil on it essentially uh lucio he, he's 100 percent accurate again it doesn't matter the distance um his shots do fire relatively slow like it takes a while for them to reach the destination so keep that in mind as well mercy is 100 percent accurate well this doesn't do any damage but she is 100 percent accurate We'll see, every one of these will be a headshot. So yeah, she's 100% accurate, so we don't really need to do anything with her. As far as Symmetra goes, there's actually a lot of things that are very strange with Symmetra. So as far as the distance, it's 5 meters for her to actually be able to hit. Again, it's basically 7 when I'm shooting the training box. 6 or 7. Uh, I'd say this is basically 6. But again, certain hitboxes are going to be different. Um, okay, so in the very center of her gun, um, it's that blue part that... Uh, I wish I could point to it. <laughs> But it's the uh, blue part on the gun that uh, it looks kind of like a triangle. So you'll see right now it has, it'll, it'll actually charge up. So there's level one uh, where it just has like the inner circle filled. And then there'll be um, three lines after it. I'll, I'll charge it up to max and you guys can see it. So it'll be, this is level one, two, and then we have it at level three. It does different damages depending on how much you have it charged. It will not increase the range though, so you still have to be fairly close to your target. The damage on it is a little bit strange. Um, it does some rounding, but just to give you guys a reference, um, for the most part, it's going to do 24, 56, and 120, and that's not based off of ammo. That's I'm going to do an in-depth guide on it, and I'll explain it more, but for the most part, the damage is going to be 24, 56, and then 120. Uh, but a lot of stuff does round again. She's she's a little bit different. Her right click to do a lot more damage, but uh, this this is going to be 100% accurate at any distance. It is very slow, so really don't expect to really hit anyone with it. Uh, but yeah, I just figured I'd mention that. Uh, next up, we have uh, Zenny, which is the last guy over here, and there's something interesting with him as well. So uh, he's 100% accurate as well. It doesn't matter the distance. You will you can get those headshots. Uh, the balls are a little bit bigger, so it's. It's very linear on the hitbox for him. Uh, another thing is his right click. When you use it, 
there's a little bit of shaking that goes on, but it's still pretty much 100% accurate. Even if we go to, let's say, this distance over here, which is pretty much the max distance. Again, it's going to shake a little bit, but as long as you're on point. Okay, I died there. But yeah, the bot killed it. Okay, come on, bot, come back. Okay. So you'll see, oh. We, we were AFK for too long, uh, but uh, I did want to show you one last thing with uh, Zenny before we end this video as far as the accuracy and all the recoil testing. So one thing with Zenny is when you right click with him or you alt fire, he fires uh, five up to technically because you can you can charge it up with two and just fire two. But uh, the longer you charge it, it's going to go up. Uh, up. Uh, it's going to also use up your ammo. Uh, interesting thing with Zenny though. Is when you only have one shot left, you say I only have one shot, I can still shoot five orbs. So just keep that in mind. This can prevent you from reloading, you know, at the uh, wrong time. But yeah, there you guys go for the ultimate guide for all of the recoil as well as the distances in which you should engage. Uh, again, some of them I have 100% accuracy, so it really doesn't matter the distance. Ideally, you do want to be closer for certain things because they have travel distance times, and you'll have to factor that in. But uh, this will hopefully give you guys a better understanding of what heroes can engage at what distances as well as some of those numbers. Like, for example, with the Bastion, the first three shots will uh, hit them at 100% accuracy, and then it's going to deviate. Uh, obviously with recoil in the game and again you guys can do the recoil testing like this but i find for the most part uh those are those videos are like not as good as telling you guys at which distances you should be engaging because it's not like these recoils are, are going to be very similar they're going to deviate uh except for mccree's again mccree's when you use the fan the hammer generally they're going to be going up so what you want to do is hold down on the mouse just a little bit and you guys can kind of get your um uh, accuracy just up a little bit. Again, 10, 10 meters is the ideal range uh, for McCree uh, if you want to use the family hammer. And again, it's it's really easy to control, but hopefully this helps you guys out. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys want to see more content for Overwatch and make yourself a better player. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I'm signing out.